fearless pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bring another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Today guys, um, this is bizarre. Um, we are currently back in Season 1, the brand new server that just came out. And I don't even hardly recognize the game anymore. There's so many changes I wanted to show you, especially if there's like first time players. Um, I'm just giving my retrospect on it. This is completely different to when I first played the game back in Season 1 over a year ago. And for all the people who are playing the game at the moment, you probably guys didn't realize how crazy the changes are and stuff. Will some of these changes be coming into the new uh, Season 7 or future season updates and that? I don't know. It feels very different and very strange. Um, as you'll see, I'll show you some things. So let's get into it. So one of the big things that I noticed first off is it seems to be based um, off Season 4, um, how the Journey of Middle-Earth, the Fellowship, they go across and have to destroy the ring. And it's good versus evil. So um, as you can see, um, there is good and evil. So evil has the sides of like Mordor, uh, Ruin, Angmar, and Isengard. Where the good side has, they have Lothlorien, Erebor, Rohan, and Gondor. So that's basically, it's exactly the same as uh, Season 4, how the Fellowship um, journeys across the map and you have to destroy the ring. But there's a lot of things that are so different that like, for example, this is my base here that I had to build from little scratch. There's all these new wall features and that. Uh, this here is my apocryphy. It's not inside. You have to actually build these. So I have to develop. And if I want to take um, um, basically to get my gold, I have to actually build it. There is so much. Uh, uh, like It's so crazy, so different. You wait and see. So if we go into our settlement, things are so different. Um, I just got my apocryphy built just then. So basically, I can heal all my troops in here, so I can put auto treatment on. So that's kind of the same, but it's just that they have to build it. But as you can see, these UIs are completely different now. So when you go in, there's all these different UIs. Now, if we go into the barracks feature, you can go in and you can see your new barracks set up. And as you can see, I already have tier 2 troops unlocked already and almost tier 3 unlocked already which is absolutely insane all i had to do was just level these up guys was the literally 500 gold to level them up it looks like um these troops only have one skill now that's very interesting um so we only have one skill there it looks like um the more you level up your main hall um then you start unlocking the other troops but um because i picked gondor this is the troops that i have to start off with uh, the Knights here are tier 2, so I have to get the Gondor Quarters 3. But yeah, with these guys, all I had to do was to click on them, and it took 5 minutes, and tier 2s were unlocked pretty much instantly as soon as I started the game. Our tactation, or, or yeah, is done. So our tax building is done, so we can collect that. So it should be built on the map now. Yep, it's just a little camp thing there. Alright, so there's our tax thing now, so we can click on that and just collect it. Oh, I'm never going to be playing on this really ever again, so let's just double click that. Um, so our barracks, this is where you can upgrade your barracks, so you need to upgrade your main hall. Which, if we, let's go, so instead of clicking out, I guess you have to click near it or something. One of two, so this here is my barracks area, so where I can conscript. I can see I've already got tier 2s and everything unlocked already. It's absolutely crazy. So we have tier 2s, tier 3s, a lot of it already done. Wait. Did it just say I have bears already? Or was I seeing things? I have... I, okay, I've got 12 bears. I don't know, even know how I even got them. Um, that's where you put, do your armies and stuff like that. Um... Basically, the commanders and that are pretty the same. The ring, the ring has changed a little bit as well. As you can see, especially with this ability here, you can increase um, your commander's command with this uh, ring ability um, once you unlock level 30. Otherwise, the ring abilities kind of look pretty much the same, except for this one here. You can see increased stone gathering and that, so that's basically your faction buff there. Um, but that's, um, pretty much what's happening there. I don't see any red book. 
Um, but basically, I don't even know. Wait, challenge any red book. Wait, so now the red book is out. Okay, so now, speaking of the red book, now it's out. Okay, so the red book is there. Very interesting. Um, let's have a quick look at a couple of other things. So, back in here as well. I'm trying to figure out how to level up my main hall. I don't know how the hell to do that. Development queue, uh, zero of two. That's healing. Um, up, is this where we do it? Gondor Quarters, Main Hall 3. How do I... Requires... Requires to build Main Hall. I don't know how to build the Main Hall yet, guys. Um, that's got me stumped. I don't know how to build Main Hall. Maybe... I don't know. I really don't know, guys. Um, uh, maybe you just gotta keep doing this and you eventually unlock it or something like that. Occupy 3 level 30, so maybe I'll just get one of my armies. So we'll be back in a minute once I... I need to level up a bit more to progress and check a few things out. Okay, so I found the main hall. So it's eventually a task. So I have to just keep on leveling up, going for the task, until I can eventually build the main hall. So, um... If I just march, like one of my commanders down here, Faramir back down. Um, basically, that might take a little bit longer. We'll get, um, we need to take these areas anywhere. I think once we build all of this area and we build all the things, maybe it's going to combine into one big base or something. I don't know. Because, yeah, it's kind of strange though, but um, we're building our market at the moment. So our market's going to be complete. Hopefully it becomes one big thing once it's uh, complete. I don't know. It seemed very interesting. So I completed our market there. So that's chapter 8 done already. Chapter 9. Let's see what we can do for chapter 9. You can accessories and stuff like that, increasing their stuff. We know all about that. That's simple. Um, we'll throw a little bit of gear on Dwar Lin while we're here. I don't know. I don't know if I had the time to really play this. It's more of a just um, exploring that because I'm just dumbfounded by how different the changes are. Um, so see now, if I go to here, we can go to develop. It says complete the task to unlock it. So we have to keep doing these tasks. Upgrade any soldier, any soldier to level 4. Okay, so we'll just have to go in here and level these guys up with gold. These guys are level 2, so it's just gold like that. Boom, boom, level 4, so that's now complete, so we can do that challenge. Purchase wares from the market. Okay, let's go to there. Alright, let's just purchase whatever. Purchase wares, done. And then upgrade the ring to 9, which should be pretty much done. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, my ring should be level 9 any moment. But yeah, as you can see, we've been building and developing here. It's still strange. We can now build the storage, so we'll build that. That's 36. Um, we'll be back in a minute once we build the main hall to see what else happens after that. Alright, so we've unlocked the task now to build the main hall. So, obviously, we have to build it in the area there in that section. So, build the main hall. I don't have enough stone at the moment. So, hopefully, we can get some through the market to enter our market. Where would our market be? Here. Market. I can't... I don't even have the ability to flip. Uh, what do we need? We needed stone. There we go. I can buy some stone. 5,000. Hopefully, that will be enough now. So let's develop this main hall. I'm about 3,000 short still. Oh, wait, I've got... Maybe I can buy some more in the market, maybe. All right, let's go back into the market. I don't see any stone there, so let's just go flip here. Okay, 4,000... Oh, let's just buy that stone there. Done. That will get us over the mark. So let's develop this main hall. Takes an hour. Now, can we speed that up? No. So, it looks like I can't even do the speed up on this. Wait. Chapter 10, build me into hall. Can I speed it up from here? Yes, I can. Okay. So, there we go. I can speed it from there. I have a ton of speed ups here. Let's just use the gems just to make it quicker. Um, so, we've built that. So, now what happens? Okay. So, now it looks like we're going to upgrade... Renovate the settlement. Okay, so now we're going to make a big settlement, are we? Uh, okay, there we go. And then we're eventually going to get our normal 3x3 um, three three.
Base. Okay, it looks a bit different now. You have tiles you could develop into wards. It's time to expand your domain. Okay. Interesting. Um, so, yeah, another thing is, well, once we go back to Minas Tirith, and as you can see, there is a lot of AI here as well. So, that's very interesting. Um, I don't know what all this is. Okay, yeah, this is just a hickory dickory. Yeah, all good. We've got some, um, some of them. Just flying for these chapters real quick. Create a join a fellowship. So this is where we need to join a fellowship and stuff now. But yeah, I think I've seen enough. Um, looks like we've finally got to a part where we know. And it's just going to be basically a season 4 replay. But yeah, very interesting. Definitely very different. Um, and completely different from the season 1 that I first played. So I wanted to update you guys and show you. Um, it's very interesting. Now if we go in, let's have a look. Is it any different now? Nope. Everything's different here. So this looks like where you can upgrade your main hall. And once you get this to level 3, you can unlock tier 3. So looks like you're going to be able to unlock tier 3 troops and that a lot, lot quicker and stuff like that. Yeah, very interesting. Very different. So when next... Yeah, I think we'll wrap it up there, guys. Until next time, peace out. EJ's out. And I'll catch you guys later. See yous. Just like this rhyme.